Hey guys, so I'm here with my uh, Range Rover Velar um, and I'm going to take you through some of the uh, uh, features that I've got on the uh, dashboard, um, the in-control display and, uh, and the ambient lighting and so on. Um, so hopefully you guys get to uh, see uh, some of the options I've bought with it and um, hopefully uh, give you a little bit of a review from it as well. Hey guys, so uh, this is my uh, interior. Um, so just going to go through some of the options here. Uh, what I've added. So I have the Navigation Pro. Um, swipe into the right there. Um, you can see you have various options. Um, you can have a look at the uh, cameras if your car has comes with it in for the uh, rear parking sensors. Um, so I've parked up in my house, uh, but I can always turn that on manually. There's a web browser as well if you ever want to. Uh, browse the internet for anything or if you're out and about and you want to google possibly the best restaurants nearby to where you are or anything like that you can do that from there I have my uh, phone connected to this as well via Bluetooth so I can access my contacts um, do voice control commands maybe call someone um, change the music uh, play a particular playlist and so on um, there's also this uh, option here called in control apps now this is a, a really useful way of connecting your phone uh, via the USB port uh, inside the bottom of the dashboard uh, which you can't see at the moment um, so you can add things like the parking app um, a custom navigation app for example if you want to use that instead of the inbuilt navigation um, you can add your Spotify playlist uh, directly into the car as well uh, by connecting it directly and there's various other uh, useful apps that you can uh, incorporate with the uh, in control screen Swiping uh, along a little bit further, um, I've also added a custom option for ambient lighting. Um, although it's daytime at the moment, you won't be able to see it, um, but you must have seen a few videos on YouTube already um, around this, so you can actually select various different colors for the interior of your car. Um, they usually come down on the inside uh, of your front seats, just behind the dashboard there, uh, and you get them around all of the, uh, the, do the doors on the car. One little uh, useful thing on the left hand side, you always have the uh, panel uh, which you can swipe up and down to show various different options. Um, so you can either see the news feed here, uh, the weather, uh, the road that you're on, the phone you're connected to and uh, if you're playing any music, whether it's from the radio or from your phone, you'll see information on that there. Um, I tend to leave it on, on the weather because that's the most useful information for me. Uh, we can also see your vehicle dimensions um, and various settings around the uh, uh, information about what the car can do and so on. Uh, just to quickly show you then uh, about the media. I have the radio, uh, but you can also change the uh, source uh, to be either your phone, uh, media library, with anything you've uh, transferred via USB. Uh, onto the internal hard drive uh, or I have the option uh, for TV just quickly show you that see what it's like in terms of uh, quality and reception so you can see that uh, it doesn't actually fill the full width of the uh, screen um, that's basically the uh, ratio that the uh, videos are broadcast in um, but you can also find specific channels um, if you're interested um, at the moment, I've got all of the uh, channels that you that are available on Freeview here in the UK. Um, so I can tap anywhere on the sidebar to just uh, skip a lot of them. Um, generally, I think the uh, quality is uh, uh, pretty good. Um, so I'm just opening up a HD channel. Usually, probably takes uh, uh, about 10 seconds to load. Um, it depends on the area that you're in. If you're in a very remote area, 
uh, it may not find reception but as you can see here this is high quality um, and if I'm arrived early somewhere and I'm waiting for people then this is always a good option to pass the time um, Putting the volume up. The Daily Mirror is reporting that Mesut Ozil won't make today's game. Is that a blow, Mark? I mean, there's many people who say Sound quality that is pretty Ozil good. Away from home um, be so that, that is really uh, a useful feature which I've liked. So you tap on a screen. I can change the source back to radio and so on. So if I go back. Uh, now, one other thing. Uh, which I think is pretty useful um, is the able to change the uh, screen angle so whether you, the the lighting or the sun is in your eyes or uh, it's reflecting off the windows onto the screen you can change the angle of this actual screen so I just keep it about there which uh, I think is useful for uh, most options now if you have a look at the uh, climate control here uh, you're able to Send the fan, um, whether you want it cooled uh, or heated, into various parts, uh, positions of your seating. So it can come to your face, um, towards your body, or down towards your feet. Um, if you unselect all of them, it splits it between uh, the entire entire car. Um, and there's also an option to get your heated seat. You normally have to go to seats and then turn it on so it will start heating up and then you can change the, the level of the heat uh, with the uh, scroller here uh, one useful thing I've noticed that is if you push this uh, circle button like that uh, it changes to the heated seat mode so from there you can control it directly and then you can turn it on and off and if you press it again it goes back to your climate control um, you also have your vehicle settings uh, depending on the terrain that you're driving in you can select that. Um, this is a, a automatic uh, turn off when the car is at traffic lights, and um, it's really useful for saving on fuel. Uh, and then you can also access your settings quickly from there as well. If you tap the middle option there, that brings down your uh, media control, um, so you can change the source from here. And if you can leave that running with, for example, navigation and so on. Um, one other useful thing I like uh, about the buttons on the steering wheel is um, if you scroll around there, touch sensitive, you can turn the volume up. Um, so if I'm on the radio, for example, um, I can change the volume by just. The entire Serengeti comes to life around you. Like, like so. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you think this is uh, looking really good, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'm uh, trying my best to answer it. Thank you for watching.